I think the difference is that it's always been envis envisioned to be something that is led by the broader community rather than by a core steering group. Most projects that I work on, you come together, you decide a set of objectives, you pull together a team to do it and you go out there and deliver it. Good Enterprise Lab's never been like that and it's never felt like that. It's been more a conversation about what are the techniques that you can use to pull in people who've got the ideas and the energy to do something different in their community, something that's needed and making sure that that happens in a way that includes as many people as possible. So I think it, it kind of turns conventional project planning and things on its head. It's looking at how you stimulate that conversation and what are the things that you need to keep that conversation going and actions arising out of it so that it doesn't become just a talking shop. It's very much action focused and enabling people to, to get involved and do the things that they care about. Our team meetings are really different to other things. We don't go in with a, a set agenda. I mean, we might have a, you know, certain things that we know we want to cover in the meeting, but they always start with a check-in where we go around the room and talk about what's happened since last time we got together. And that feels like quite an, an open and sharing part of the meeting. And yet everyone seems to feel comfortable to sort of ask questions and delve a bit further there as well. It's not just a, yes, I've been doing this and moving on to the next thing. It always seems to develop into quite a a core part of the meeting in itself, sort of exploring why particular things are happening or particular challenges that people have had. So I think that is really valuable in keeping us sort of focused around the, the, the themes that we're working with. I'm excited to see what ideas come out of it, obviously, because that's going to be really nice to see what actually changes on the ground as a result, because, you know, that's, that's why we're doing it. We're doing it because we want to see actions taken. But I'm also really interested in the actual approach you know I've learned an awful lot personally from working on the project about different ways to do things and different ways to make things happen for me it's going to be really interesting to pull out what the core bits of learning are from this approach so that it can be applied to other situations because I think this could be a really really powerful technique that could be used in such a wide range of settings and it's important for us to pick out what are those elements that have made it different and how easy is it for other people to replicate that? What are the sort of key tipping points that you need to make sure that you keep true to the, the sort of essence of what Good Enterprise Lab is all about? So it's actions and it's the techniques to enable those actions to take place in other areas and other times.